All right, fellas and ladies, if we got some ladies here, I made a prop balancer. It's magnetic. It just sticks in like this and this. You can spin it. This is the carbon fiber reinforced uh, polycarbonate material. See, I haven't totally smoothed it out or anything yet. It printed pretty well. Um, we'll spin it and see where it ends up. And you see how basically the large part of the prop here um, swings down, right? See how that is? That's pretty bad off because it's, I mean, it just, whoop. All right. Get out of there. Dang. Okay, I got it out. Well, if you're wondering also what I made it out of, I made it out of an old drill bit. You see, I flattened it here for to fit in. And I have to sharpen the ends of it. Um, I'm going to take, this is probably, uh, no, I think this is probably the best printed one that I have. Uh, it's PETG. Let me stick this one on here. There we go. Put it back in the thing. And let's spin this one and see where it does. Kind of almost the same exact thing, right? So these are both, these are all plastic. Now I'm going to take the metal one. This is the one I had printed. How it sounds. Let's line this baby up right here. Boom. Okay. Now let's spin it how she does. This it kind of spins a little longer. It's a little heavier. But see how it just kind of came to a nice rest. It didn't like it didn't loop back and forth to find its center spot. A little bit there. Um See how it's it's kind of stopping nice. Now I did already test this one, and this is the high spot. This is where it was doing landing every time. So I ground just a little bit off here, and it evened it out pretty nicely. Um, but it's still even without any modification. Here's one. Here's the other one. I bought two, just in case they were so cheap. When you got two of them, and this one I have done nothing to. And let's see where she lands. See, it didn't it didn't flop over. It will still flop over if it lands in the right spot. But see how nice it's stopping? Normally it would stop way down here. See it had a little bit of a return there, but not much. So these are actually pretty nice. Um this isn't a good exact explanation if you just turn it and stop because the magnetic poles on each end of the uh, drill bit actually make the drill bit turn over sometimes hey yeah look this thing's not bad these metal printed ones are super balanced um, that one's i think balanced better than the other one that i just did so there you go here's what uh if you're curious if you've got a plastic one that you're printing you're going to need to take off a lot of plastic over here on the opposite side of this big propeller. And I think a large part of that extra material is coming right here in the second level. Because if you compare, if you can compare how much material is here to how much material is right here, you can kind of see, maybe the gray one will be a better example. You can kind of see that this section so I can get these things lined up. Come on, you can do it. And this is not easy. Basically, this rib right here is much thicker than the metal one uh, right in here. Um, and that's where the weight is at its lowest point. And then, of course, you got any extra stuff that's needing to be smoothed off that I haven't done anything to. All I did was pull the support material off. I haven't done any smoothing, any sanding, or anything like that. So, anyway, that's it. I just want to show you guys real quick, just so you guys would have an idea what is happening with these props. And this basically backs up exactly what Stefan said, is that the metal props are much more balanced. Um, so you may need to address that in some fashion before you go out to run, because when you're pushing those, what, is it 40,000 RPMs these things are turning? That vibration is going to get big.